Okay, that's one, and I need two more opposite each other for the oil outlet. Yeah, I want one opposite, I want one in the top of there. Set this up square just so it looks nice. I'm going to use the same depth of cut, so I'll have to zero the handle on the z-axis because unfortunately my DRO has stopped working on the z-axis for some strange reason, I don't quite know why it is. We probably could cut it in one go, but I think I'll play it safe and back it off couple of turns See the mark there where the filter seal goes and I've got that drill in the centre there between that outlet tube. So I'm going to drill a 14mm hole in there down to depth of 25mm and then I drill it into there and tap it faith BSP and that's the inlet done. Down to 25. Look at this horrible shite. Now I'm going to drill through and break into that port there. Right, that's a nice big hole, it's going to throw plenty of oil. Breaks into that drill in there, it's just straight in the centre, or one in there and one in there. I should be a put a pilot in here, but it means changing three chucks instead of changing just one. There's actually a more tape I've drilled in than that. It's just soft aluminium. So 
through this, I'm flashing the bolt bait out. Screw the fittings in while I'm going to go. There'll be a short bit of 10 mil pipe which joins those two together. Another short bit of 10 mil pipe will join that in there. That's a pressure relief valve. So the oil flow is in there through the filter, out through that one, into the pressure relief valve, back to the tank, and it goes from here up to the turbocharger inlet. And that's for a pressure gauge takeoff. I've grilled all these fittings out to get the maximum amount of flow through them. They're hydraulic fittings and they're really strong. Uh, the holes are smaller than they need to be for the sort of oil pressure I'm running. So I've drilled them all out. I can't help drilling oil holes out. I've spent hours drilling oil galleries out on Mini Cooper S engines. And people couldn't understand how my engine had better oil pressure than theirs. And that was a simple reason. Bigger holes, more oil flow. I'll have to make a bracket to support that somehow. There'll be a little bracket on here. I'll just make it as I go along. But hopefully in a little bit more time we should see the oil tank filled with oil and the pump running. And once we've got the oil system sorted, uh, the gas simple, the gas system and the ignition is dead easy. And then we'll have it running. I've coupled up the oil system sort of temporarily to do some flow and pressure checks. So we've got the pump, which goes into a filter, that's an outlet from the filter, filter oil which goes up to the turbocharger, then it comes out the other outlet into a pressure relief valve which is there, and that lets oil flow back into the tank. I turn it around so you can see the other side. Now this is going to get messy, I guarantee it, whenever I'm involved with oil and pumps it always gets messy. Right, so that's the pressure relief valve, that's a return back into the tank. I put a pressure gauge in the system and it's right next to the turbocharger inlet. That's where you've got to measure the pressure. You need your pressure there and we're looking for probably 40 psi. That's the feed up from the filter, that's straight into the turbocharger and that's my pressure gauge take off. So I'm really close there so it's showing true pressure what's actually going at the turbocharger. All these unions will be changed and I'm going to put bigger bore, uh, probably air equipped human in just to get a maximum amount of flow through there into the valve so the oil is circulating all the time. It's already starting to get all snarled up with the bastard thing. Right so that's the oil pressure gauge. I'm going to put some oil in the tank and I'm going to check the, the flow first to see how much oil it actually, it actually flows. The oil I'm going to use is like a 020, full synthetic. Yep, it is nice and thin. In the old days, I think I'd go the better. It's not like that now, you want oil flow. I'm going to put some oil in here. It's quite cool in here, and even when it's been cool, the oil is still a reason to be fluid. And so if we take the pipe off there, this is the feed into the turbocharger, and we put it into there, we should see how much oil it flows. I'm just using a 12 volt alarm battery and I've got a a 10 amp fuse in it to protect the pump. There's a pump running there. And that's putting a good flow of oil out. It'll be even better once I get bigger pipes in it. That's more than enough flow to supply that turbocharger. I'm okay, so happy with that. Under the turbocharger. If we back off 
pressure relief valve, I wouldn't expect to see any other pressure screw on there. Okay, so the oil is more or less completely bypassing that. Just a little bit of pressure through at 5 or 10 psi, and we can wind the pressure up. We want about 40, which is there, and that's taking all the plug of the servo charger. So the oil is now going through the filter, bypassing the tank quite a lot going into the tank there, bypassing in enough going into the turbocharger to give all the 40 psi we need and that's plenty, plenty in reserve there'll be a control panel mounted on here with the gauges in there'll be a, a proper handle on the valve that'll be mounted as well uh, basically this is just to try it and make sure that the, the system does work and it certainly does work very happy with that, there's a lot of oil getting bypassed there It would be nice to have a clear drain pipe on there to see how much oil is coming through. I could pull it off, but then it will get messy. But I might as, uh, if I pull it off, it'll get messy. I know for a fact the oil is running through the turbo charger. We let the pressure drop off. And the bearings drain. There's a little, little bit of side play in there, which is supposed to be. And as soon as you put the oil pressure back onto it, that disappears. This will be all hard lined in, there'll be no bit of, bit of rubber, and there'll be proper steel braided air equip or solid pipe. So basically that's the old system sorted apart from tidying the plumbing up. I think the next thing is going to be a control panel, and then we've got the gas system to sort out. If this is not far off running now, it's getting very near. <laughs> 